Turkey, Ukrainian grain, Erdogan, Putin, and betrayal. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, there was a massive explosion at the Durant's port in Turkey, severely damaging the grain silos and injuring at least up to 12 persons. The cause of the explosion has not yet been determined. At the time of the explosion, there was a Marshall Islands ship being loaded with grain from Ukraine. Not Russia, but from Ukraine in Turkey. A few weeks ago, Turkey's president, Erdogan, betrayed Vladimir Putin when he reneged on a promise to keep prisoners of war of the Nazi Azov Battalion in Turkey until the war is over. Instead, when Zelensky traveled to Istanbul, Erdogan allowed these men to travel back to Kyiv on the plane with Zelensky. Essentially, it was Erdogan slapping Vladimir Putin in the face in order to get the long-awaited F-16s that the United States had blocked. Last year, these Nazi members of the Azov Battalion surrendered to Russian forces in the battle for Mariupol. Russia refused to return the ranking Azov Battalion prisoners of war to the key regime in prisoner exchanges. Turkey negotiated a deal with Russia where it promised to keep these prisoners in Turkey until the war is over. Erdogan flagrantly betrayed Putin while making deals with his NATO bedfellows and entertaining Zelensky in Istanbul. He decided to allow these prisoners to get on the plane with Zelensky on the trip back to Kyiv. Many of them have returned to the line to fight against Russian forces. Turkey played a key role in the grain shipment negotiations, which up until recently allowed Ukrainian grain to be shipped from Ukrainian Black Sea ports through Turkey's Bosphorus Straits to Europe and elsewhere. Only a small fraction of the grain went to African countries, most going to Western Europe. Yet, the West constantly lied, saying Africans would starve without the grain. They even had some Africans peddling that lie. I hope it was not one of you. That agreement, of which the United Nations was a part of, also included allowing uninhibited shipment of Russian grain. This part of the agreement was never fulfilled, a sufficient reason for Putin to end the agreement. In addition, Russia has indicated that the key regime was using grain import lanes to carry out terrorist attacks by sea. Prior to the war, Turkey acquired more wheat from Russia than it did from Ukraine. But that is no longer the case because the shipment of Ukrainian grain is very profitable for Turkey. And at a discount, Erdogan has been anxious for Putin to change his mind and allow grain shipment to continue. That's not going to happen. Since last June, Ukraine has accounted for between 80% and 100% of Turkey's monthly wheat imports. Notice, none coming from Russia anymore. Turkey raised the tariff 130%, raking in large profits before grain, such as wheat, is even sold to the public in Turkey. And the price is high to the public in Turkey. So, it's clear who's really making out. Very good very well with all of this. In the near future, Putin is to meet with Erdogan in Istanbul. That's the plan. However, Putin is not happy about Erdogan's betrayal regarding the prisoner of war agreement. 
I have some doubt as to whether Putin will even travel to Istanbul to meet with Erdogan. Finally, the explosion today at the Turkey government-owned port, which injured up to 12 persons, will certainly be viewed by some as sabotage, and the key regime is likely to quickly point the finger at Russia as it always do. Again, the cause of the explosion has not been determined. This is T. West with Afro Synergy News.